I just purchased my second Canon RF lens. This is the first unboxing. Okay, look like we got warranty slips, you know, stuff about registering, you know, little basic, basic paper pamphlets that you get. Basically talking about the camera and lens, uh, you know, how it works and stuff like that. All the settings. All right, let's get to why we really here. Good packaging, you know. Here it is. Canon 85 F 1.2 Macro IS STM. Build quality wise, feel pretty good, you know. I feel almost like the 35 RF. Focus. Control ring. Got that nice little click like all the other ones. I like that. You know. Then we got the buttons. You know, all the basic buttons. Stabilizer, off and on, auto focus. You know. All the basic stuff you always get. Uh, glass look good. Yeah, man. Look good. I think I'm gonna like it, man. I done had two 85s, but, you know, can't go wrong with Canon, though. We're gonna try it on the camera. Canon EOS R. That's what we shooting with. Oh, yeah. It even look good on the camera. It don't look too big. Don't look too small, you know. Always good to have something without that adapter, taking up extra space. Look good though. Oh yeah. It must look good. Ideal for portrait work, the 85 millimeter focal length is also a B-roll king for videography. I'm Chris Mosley and today I'm here with the 85 millimeter F2 Macro IS STM. This focal length is famous for portrait work, but also it can be used for videography to get some beautiful, beautiful B-roll shots. Up until now, the only option you really had was the 85 millimeter 1.2 RF mount which is very, very expensive until they came out with this lens, which is why this one is a game changer to me. You could also adapt some of the older EF mount lenses, but they just don't function quite right with the RF mount like the RF lenses do. So I'm happy to be trying out the 85 millimeter F2 today to see how it operates on the EOS R. This lens features 12 elements in 11 groups. It's 1.10 pounds, and it has a 67 millimeter filter thread. Now this lens is macro, so those capabilities should come in handy when it comes to portrait work. You can get closer and closer to your subject. So that's just something to keep in mind with this lens. Now this lens also features the 12 pin connection, which is normal for your RF mount lenses, which should make it have better auto focusing capabilities and the eye tracking should work better than any EF mount lens with the adapter. Um, it's, one point, it's 0.5 magnification on the macro capabilities. And the distance that you can get to your subject is 1.14 feet excuse me i had to check my spec sheet but those specs should give you some great capabilities for your for your macro lenses and it should be fun to work with this lens is listed at 599 retail right now if you compare that to the 35 millimeter lens which is 499 but you're getting the 85 millimeter lens with the macro capabilities i feel like that's a good price the only thing left to do now is just test out the image quality and see how this lens performs to see if it's really worth the price tag. So we're going to get some random B-roll shots.
put it on the camera, get it tested out, and you let us know what you think about this lens. The focus motor is pretty fast. It's silent. Another feature about these RF lenses is when it's in video mode, they quiet down the autofocus motor. So when you're doing photos, it's kind of noisy, but when you're in video mode, it quiets down and slows down the motor. So you really actually can't really hear it. I don't know if you can hear that in the microphone, but other than the beep, it's really no sound. So that's another good thing about these lenses. It's very quiet. It's sleek. I like this button because you can limit the focus distance. So if you know you're going to be taking pictures of an object that's very close to you, you can limit the focus distance so it'll focus faster and it won't have to go through the, the full range of focusing. So that's a good feature as well. Yeah, all of the photos look sharp. All of them look good. Really, I like my reviews to be about video, but with this kind of lens, I mean, you got to put some photo specs in there because this is just, it's a nice lens. It's a nice lens. I'll put some of the pictures up on the screen so you can check it out and you let me know what you think. So I'm here with the 85 millimeter F2 on my EOS R. I'm going to get some sample footage and show you guys how it looks and just test it out. And I'm going to rate the image quality on a scale of 1 to 10. That's something new that I'm going to start doing. So let's see how this lens performs. All right, so I'm starting out with some flowers. The Im image stabilization is on, and I'm just racking focus on two flowers to see how it focuses. It's pretty smooth. Nice bokeh. It's F2, so, you know, the bokeh is pretty nice. Oh yeah, that's smooth. That's nice. This is with the stabilization off. Stabilization on. Stabilization off. Stabilization on. And then it's like, I don't know, I got a pet peeve with people with these lenses because they'll say something like, like, let's say, for instance, on the 35 millimeter F 2.8, they'll be like, the bokeh on it is nice, but it's not an F 1.2 lens. No, it's not. But if you really know how to use it, you can get nice bokeh with any lens. Like, it can be F 4. And if you know how to separate your subject from the background, you can still get good, good bokeh. So I hate when people say that. That's my pet peeve when people say that, because I'll show you with the sample, sample footage of this. You can get good bokeh with any, any lens for real. All right, so this is an 85 millimeter lens, so that means I can get some good shots kind of from a distance. I'm at a park right now, so I'm just gonna get some long range shots and just show the compression of this lens and just the quality of it. That's the good thing about the 85 millimeter focal length, because you don't have to be like right up on somebody to get some good shots. You can shoot from a distance and kind of make it look like you were closer than you really were, and then the compression of it is just, it's just nice. So. We're going to sneak some shots of some people at the park and, and just test the image quality of this lens. But so far, it's looking A1. The image stabilization is really, 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 really nice on this lens. No tripod, all I got is my strap with like a little tension on it and, and the shots are smooth. Image stabilization is a powerful tool for real. And it's nice that they put that in on a, on an 85 millimeter cause that's not, that's not normal. I mean, Canon has made it normal, but it's really not normal to get stabilization on an 85 millimeter lens. And it's macro, so that's powerful for real. I don't want to get too many shots at them people. 
but they call the police on us. <laughs> it's some guys taking video of us. <laughs> Autofocus pretty accurate. It's so smooth. Like it's not trying to focus fast, it's just smooth. Slow and smooth. It's lightweight. Focus ring smooth. I like it. So I'll say in conclusion, man. I'll give this lens like a 9.5 out of 10 for real. I would say 10 out of 10, but I wish it was f1.8. But I mean, f2 is still good. But I give this lens a 9.5 out of 10. And then for the price, it's 599. I mean, you ain't gonna get a lens better than that RF mount in that price range. If you want an 85 and you want RF mount, your next option is 23.99, 26.99 for the 85 1.2. I mean, so. You can't go wrong with the 85 millimeter F2. So I say go on and pick you one up. Then you got the control ring on it so you can control your ISO, aperture, or shutter. Um, I think it's a few other things, but I'm not sure. With the control ring on it, so I mean, you can't beat it, man. If you like 85 millimeter lenses, go on and pick one up. My, my reviews are catered towards videographers, but of course for pictures, you can't go wrong with the 85 millimeter either. So pick one up, rent one, Check it out. See if you like it. Um, how you know RF lenses are real good right now is that if you check Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, you won't find a lot of RF lenses on the market right now. So that goes to show you that when people get these lenses, they hold on to them. So if you get one, hold on to it. RF lenses are in high demand right now, and a lot of them are back ordered and all that. So I say go on and pick you one up, pre-order one, get one in your hands, and, and put it in your collection if you got a... Um, RF mount system.